Hey everybody, sorry if I sound like shit, I've been feeling a bit under the weather for the past three days. So, this is an interesting article. This says Apple sues Canadian recycling firm for reselling 100,000 devices instead of destroying them. Here it says, according to the logic, in the Ontario electronics recycling firm is being sued by Apple, alleging the company stole and resold iOS and watchOS devices instead of destroying them. Jeep Canada is being accused of reselling them, according to Apple's lawsuit. Apple says Barry-based Jeep and members of its senior management team were aware of its activity. Let's make this text a little bigger here. Jeep denies all wrongdoing and says when it discovered the reselling wing, it shut it down immediately. As for damages, Apple is seeking $31 million from Jeep, plus proceeds made from selling iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watches. Jeep was hired by Apple back in the fall of November 2014 to assist in recycling old products instead of being discarded into landfills. Apple says it sent 531,966 iPhones, 25,673 iPads, and 19,277 Apple Watches to Jeep to be recycled from the start of 2015 to the end of 2017, according to the lawsuit. At least 11,766 pounds of Apple devices left Jeep's premises without being destroyed, a fact that Jeep itself confirmed. These misappropriated devices were then subsequently sold at a significantly higher price than other recycled materials to downstream vendors who refurbished and resold the devices to consumers, explains Apple's suit filed in January. Apple discovered Jeep was moving devices into areas not under camera surveillance after auditing the Ontario company's warehouse. The iPhone maker found 18% of devices shipped to Jeep were active on wireless carrier networks. While some devices, like Wi-Fi iPads, won't show up on carrier networks, which Apple says make the total number of stolen products higher. Jeep says the reselling ring was due to three rogue employees, Roger Mix, Edward Cooper, and Stephen White, who sold the devices to Fu Yan Yang at Whitby Recycling. Yang then sold these Apple devices to people in China. Jeep's third-party claim from July says it wants these employees, Yang and Whitby Recycling, to pay damages if Apple wins, plus cover its legal fees. The Ontario Recycler says it has suffered extensive business losses due to the incident and its reputation to go with Apple cancelling its contract. So why is this newsworthy? Well, the reason I think this is newsworthy, yeah, those three employees, they may have been looking out for their own, their own wallet. They wanted, maybe they just wanted to make some money off of what they saw as waste. Maybe they were just being greedy because they wanted to live in a luxury apartment and have a nice car and so on and so forth. At the same time, let's put that aside for a moment and just think about what is going on here. If these devices are able to be activated on carrier networks, that means that they were likely easy fixes. So Apple, the company that is always talking about how green they are, how progressive they are, how much they care about the environment and the earth, are taking devices that could be easily repaired and sending them to a firm to destroy them. That's the element that I think is worthy of focus. Because when it comes to recycling, there's the chain there. There is reduce, reuse, recycle. So reduce means use less, reuse means don't throw away, and recycle is the last step where you try to, you know, make back the metal or whatever from it. But there's more to, recycle is supposed to be the last step, not the first step. And Apple, the company that always says how green they are, is focusing on the last step first. Now, many of you may understand from some of my older videos that I'm not able to get a lot of the chips and the parts I need to do my job. Apple will tell the companies that make these chips, do not sell these chips to Lewis. I, we don't want anybody else having access to an ISL 9240. God forbid Lewis be able to fix an A1989 that's not charging, which means that I need to get these off of donor boards. And many of you have been asking, well, why don't you just get this stuff off donor boards? Well, donor boards, which are usually boards that were defective or tossed out for whatever reason or the other, but have lots of working parts in them that I can easily salvage, have been more and more difficult to come by and less available over the past five years. For the newer machines, if you've been buying donor boards for the Touch Bar MacBooks, you may notice you can't even buy a full one anymore. You can only buy the wing or the breast or the leg. They come in little pieces because people are probably sneaking them out in their underwear or whatever. And here you use really get an idea of why that is and what's going on. Over the past several years, Apple has been making sure that devices that could easily be refurbished or be used to fix existing devices get destroyed. And when someone says, you know what, no, we'd like to do a little bit more of that reuse part in the recycle chain, 
they get sued and potentially prosecuted and will lose their, their life savings and their livelihood as a result of Apple scorn. And I think this is really lame. Again, can you say that they were breaking contract? Absolutely. Can you say that what they were doing may have been against the law? Absolutely. Can you say that what they were doing was morally or ethically from a fundamental let's save the planet wrong standpoint? I don't think so. I think that these phones probably had a bad TriStar chip or a bad Touch IC or a, a bad Audio IC or a bad Tigris and were probably really, really easy fixes. And even if they weren't there for fixes, there's probably a lot of chips on these boards that could have been used uh, to fix other people's phones so that they work again and they were just getting destroyed because Apple wants to pretend they're green when in reality just, you know, just, just toss all this shit and throw it away so that no everybody has to buy a new one. I think that's kind of lame. And I'm curious what your opinion on it is. Let me know in the comments down below and hopefully I feel better soon. I feel like I just got kicked in the head repeatedly.